In this work, we present a novel proximity representation to generate persistent interactions in the 3D environments. Given a 3D C-mesh, our method aims to generate natural human C interaction relationships and inverse plausible and realistic human bodies based on that. Previous works mostly use RGB image, depth map, or semantic maps as scene representation, which loses geometry information. The performance is unstable, with a large perceptual gap to the real captured data. They directly generate the 3D body sticks or simple X body mesh without explicitly modeling human scene interactions. Humans interact with the scene in various ways. But the common thing is that all interactions are rooted in body scene contacts. Let's focus on the interaction between the girl's right hand and the keyboard. When the hand interacts with the keyboard, the distance from the hand to the keyboard keeps changing and becomes zero when the contact happens. The proximal relationship between human and the scene is different for different interactions. In order to generate realistic human scene interactions, we need to generate realistic human scene contact and proximal relationships, which motivates us to use distance-based representation to explicitly model the human scene interactions. We propose a distance-based human scene interaction representation, given the mesh of a scene and a body pair. Only the scene around the human body is most relevant for the interaction. Therefore, we only consider a local region. We select a set of basis points on the scene mesh called scene BPS. Then we use the minimum distances between the scene BPS and the body to represent the body scene contact relation, which is the body BPS feature. Then the body feature can be considered as a pairwise relation between the body and the environment. The color of the sampled scene vertices and the lines denote the corresponding distance, with yellow to purple denote small to large distances. Conditioned on the same scene mesh, different bodies yield different body features. For visualization purpose, we only show parts of the features here. Given this representation, we design a human generator. Given the body and the scene mesh pair, we compute the body BPS feature which indicates distances between the body and the selected scene vertices, and train a variational autoencoder to reconstruct such distances. A multi-layer perceptron takes the reconstructed body feature and regresses four body vertices. During inference time, we random sample Gaussian noise C and then generate the distances between the body and the environment, then regress the body vertices. However, this model requires a fixed set of basis points on the scene mesh and only works for a single scene. The question is how to generalize to different environments. To be specific, how to select and encode BPS on different scene meshes. To this end, we propose a two-stage distance-based human scene encoding. We random select a fixed set of basis points in space covering the scene. Then we use the minimum distances between the fixed BPS in space and the scene mesh vertices as the scene feature. The selected vertices on the scene mesh are the scene BPS to encode the body. For different environments, the BPS in the space are fixed, and we have different BPS on the scene meshes. Given the mesh of a scene and body pair, we can compute the scene feature, the distances from the fixed BPS in the space to the scene mesh and the body feature, the distances from the selected scene vertices to the body. Now we change the BAE to a conditional VAE to reconstruct the body features conditioning on different 3D environments. In order to get a plausible body, the MLP takes the reconstructed body feature and regresses full body mesh. In order to regress the body vertices, we have another autoencoder to encode selected scene vertex locations on the scene mesh as the condition. During inference stage, we first encode the distance from the fixed BPS in the space to the scene mesh as the scene feature. Conditioning on the scene feature, the decoder of the BAE generates the distances between the selected scene vertices and the body from the randomly sampled Gaussian noise Z. 
Then a full body mesh is regressed from the generated body feature conditioned on the selected same vertex locations. On top of this network, we include an interaction-based optimization, which converts the generated body mesh to a simple X-body mesh to smooth the generated body mesh and further improve scene human interactions. The optimization goals include three parts. The reconstruction for generated body vertices and body features, air collision, air contact aimed to alleviate interpenetration and improve contact relationship. The last three terms ensure natural body pose, body shape, and hand pose. The proposed model is trained on PROX dataset and evaluated on PROX, Matterport 3D, and Replica. The model is evaluated from three different dimensions. The perceptual naturalness is implemented by user study. Diversity metrics evaluate diversity of generated bodies. Physical plausibility metrics evaluate whether the generated body is in plausible interactions with the scene. Experiments show that our model outperforms state-of-the-art methods, especially in perceptual study. In a perceptual study, we show results of two methods at the same time. The users need to pick the result that they think is more natural. Our method outperforms the baseline by a large margin. When compared with the ground truth of PROX, our method is regarded as more realistic by nearly half of the users, indicating that our results are hardly distinguishable from the ground truth. By interpolating between latent vectors of the BAE, the generated results can transform smoothly between two poses while preserving natural interactions with the environment. Here are generated bodies in different environments. These bodies are sampled totally randomly. In conclusion, we propose a novel representation to model human scene interactions explicitly. It is purely geometry-based. Only 3D scene mesh is required as the input. By training a generative model to synthesize such representations, it is able to generate humans in natural interactions with new environments. Thank you for watching.